Hello YouTube, Overstar6 here, and welcome back to another Zero Caliber episode. And we are testing out some things that shouldn't be possible in real life. Like, can you attach, like, this game doesn't have flashlights, which I wish I could do to a pistol. But someone's probably gonna think, can you put a, a bayonet onto a revolver? And the answer is, the answer is yes, you can. I'm just thinking about this because I know someone, there's someone who apparently thinks that I don't know everything. Like, he thinks that he knows everything about the weapons and stuff, but apparently he does not know everything. Plus, you can also, in this game, I love how you can add a, a big scope onto the revolver, too, which I love doing this. It's one of my favorite things to do to the revolver how cool it looks and like you got a bayonet and it, can, it could come in handy which most people I've seen them use on our pistols like this which is weird like a like a desert eagle I believe or a like you know other weapon the one thing I'm gonna hate later is like is like is uploading this video later that's one thing I'm gonna hate and here I just that out I wanna say for having it being a revolver I kinda like this here, let's jump down there. It's empty out of ammunition. I love doing that in the game. And then, there you go. I love doing that too. And we just go, eh. We go stab on this guy. We can go, we can go stab. We go. I feel like one of those like Star Wars like bounty hunters because they have scopes on some of their pistols. And it just feels like that. Actually made it that shot. Hey buddy, here you want to step? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's a little bit funny. It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, here, let's. Uh, you can also rip off the bayonet if you want. You can throw stabby. Okay, you throw it. No, you actually can't stab bayonet. I mean, I love playing this game. I really do love playing this game a lot. I'm not lying to you guys. I love playing this game. I love doing videos the best I can on it. Especially some of the weapons here, like the bayonet. Oh my god. I'm so happy that they added this into the game. And I I was in, I'm playing the game whenever it was like the combat update or whatever. But here, let's uh, test this out. So, like, I also have something to think about. Like, someone also would probably think, you cannot put a bipod Uzi, which I would agree with you guys. But for some reason... During my video, if you guys recall the uh, multiplayer video, somehow you could put a bipod Uzi, which I feel like it's not. Th but you can't put a bayonet on the Uzi, which sucks. But here. That is so weird. Why do you need this? Like, why? Why would you need this? But I wonder what. I know you could put a bayonet on the Uzi, but it, as you can see, it's like here. Let me put the knife. I want to drop the knife somewhere. I have one of my rifles, so it's fine. So if I go like this. And I like curl my finger. It is about like a knuckle long. So like if we go to the, like here in the game. Look. That's how big I think a knuckle is in real life. Like like the finger end, end of it. Not like a knuckle but like there. See it's like an inch long. That's an It's an inch long. That's kind of insane for it to be an inch long. In the game like it actually is an inch long. Like that's weird. I start firing. But I would say, like, the Uzi is, like, one of the most weirdest weapons to ever had. Like, why would you need this on a grip? Like, why would you need a grip on an Uzi? I thought that was insane. So I didn't kind of, like, put it past myself to try and do it. But I did it for this video, because that's weird. Uh, what else is weird? Um, hold on. I mean, honestly, there are some things that don't fit compared to, like, other guns. Like, here, there's this. But I wonder, can you put a grip on here? What? You can Hang on, let me guys show you the gun what I'm talking about here. So the gun has like no silencer on it. And like for the way it's designed here, this is what it's supposed to look like in the game. If you guys seen me use this weapon, I don't know if you have. Here's my power. I got plenty. What am I doing? So like here we have this weapon here. Which is absolutely stupid. Like it's absolutely I mean it's cool though how you have a detachable stock. Like I love these detachable stocks. And it's like it kinda like ends underneath this weapon, but like here if I, I'm aiming down it right now and like this just feels so weird without a, uh, without a silencer on it. This looks so stupid. Hold on, can you add grip? You can. Also, I love adding, like, the long silencer. I believe this is what this is. Yeah, it's like, a really long silencer. You can add this on. Just like what it was showing in the thing. 
Because that is long. That is stupidly long. Also, I think that's a flashlight there. Wait, hold on. Hang on a minute. Also, I think it's also known like, I think a flash suppressor also makes sense, which I have no idea what a flash suppressor is. I believe it's like a silencer or something. I really don't know what a flash suppressor is. Flash hider. Wait. Oh, I think I now know what it, oh. So there's like a flash hider if you, it's probably like suppressor. So here. I think it like hides like the flashing at night. Like here, if I use this, it's like a little small thing. Oh, wait, wait, hang on a minute. Hang on. So that's the flash depressor. Hang on a minute. It is a sound server. I think a flash. Wait, hang on. There's no way. Wait. Oh. That's what it does. So hang on. Let me show you guys an example here. Um, let me just grab this in my belt real quick. Here. Let me just knock this out. I can't knock it out. But here, watch. See how the firing, you can see the orange, like, stuff to fire. From the weapon now watch it when i use this thing with the flash suppressor watch this this is weird so watch it i'm gonna turn it here look you don't see it you just see the smoke that is insane that is insane now i know what a flash suppressor does that's in, that's insane what about a uh here let's look at the other thing besides the flash suppressor i think it was called a flash hider is what this thing was called as well this other thing Put the stock on. Yeah, there we go. And then here, let's look at the flash hire. Is it different? Okay, they're both, they're like basically the same thing. 30, like, like 30 amps. 30 amps as well. These things are both the same. I had no idea that's what a flash suppressor do does. Like, I was so confused on what a, fl a flash suppressor is. Now I understand why it's called that. Because it helps you hide in the dark. That, that is that is insane. That's insane. I did not know about that. I thought such a tiny piece wouldn't hide the darkness. Also, I think one of these scopes has a uh, flashlight on it too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if all of them do. Well, let me see here. Um. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was like the light one. I think it was like. Hang on, man. I think it was this one. I believe it was this one. Not sure though. This one has like a hiding hole in it. Oh, this one's different. This is a different type of scope than the one I'm looking for. I was looking for, I guess, this? The Tactical Scope AT. Like, I don't know if it's this one because this one has like, as you can see, it like lights up. Like, I got red, green, not like. Like, I don't know if this actually lights them up or not. This is like actually like a. Oh, it's like a night vision scope almost, like, is it? That's what it kind of reminds me of, though. That's kind of weird. Like, I know that the, I didn't know about the flash suppressor if it was in the game. The flashlight is not in this game, though. If you go to like the lasers, I believe you'll know that they're supposed to be a, a tactical flashlight. And most of these are just called like tactical laser X and then tactical laser A, which is like tactical laser A is the one I have on my original gun, which it does this when I grab it. It's like that Tact tactical laser. Uh, uh. Well, tactical laser X is different. It's green, so each laser is different, as you can tell. Green lasers, tactical laser uh, X, and tactical laser A is the red one. Also, I just realized this. I think both of them have different clamp designs. Like, so this one's got like a guard in front where you can see it on the inside. This one, kind of, you can't, kind of can't see it unless you go closer. But I loved the the tactical laser A opposed to tactical laser X. Like, that was like the first ever laser I've ever used in this game. And then I stopped using it because after I realized I couldn't afford the red one, I was able to get it. Also, it's called Tactical Laser Sand, whatever that is. I think this is just another laser. But, like, I guess it's, like, does it have a flashlight in it? I don't know if this one does have a flashlight in it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I thought most of them, I thought the tactical flashlight was just an opposite. Opposed to these things. Yeah, is any of these actually? Okay, I guess most of these are just different. I guess they're just lasers. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, though, but, like. That's kind of weird, guys. Like, I, I know you can add likes. Like, if we go to the, the Glock here. This is also known as a Glock, by the way. It's uh, just called the Sucky, whatever. Wait, hold on. Oh, wrong. Oh, oops. Wrong gun. I'm sorry. Uh, there it is, the Glock. Man, the Sucky looks different. Compare to that. Okay. So this weapon here. Okay, I'm going to show you guys compared to my model here. So this is my own model where it's got a bunch of attachments on it. So, like, as you can see, you got the laser there at the bottom. I just hit my thing that hurts. That kind of... It didn't hurt my hand, but, like, I'm pretty sure it just hurt my controller. 
It's like a little bud or something. So we go to the, uh, add a tactical laser A here. It is called tactical laser A. And then we can attach it onto here. Yep. And we can also kind of, I guess we can, we can't remove it afterwards, but here. See how it like, like lights on. Let me activate it. Yep, that was the firing mode. It's, 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 you're supposed to grab with both hands to activate the laser. And as you can see, it actually does kind of work. It like helps people track the lasers, but I love how they add the lasers in this game. Also the flashing, like that's cool. And also you can get some smoke out of it too sometimes. Like you can see the smoke after like firing disappears. But I love the like the the pullback system on these guns. Like how you can like like I guess like pull the hammer back again. And also you can chamber around out. I do love that feature. So I guess you're supposed to do it, right? Isn't that supposed to what's supposed to happen? Cause like see hang on a minute. Although I wish you could just yoink it, but apparently it's like what what you can do for like the AK or something. Also, there's also a uh Where is the weapon I know of? There's also this weapon too. Like that, I think it's it's called a uh, a cog, I believe is what it's called. Is, is it? Is it in the machine gun category? I believe it. Isn't this the a cog? Yeah, I'm in it. Oh yeah, this is the a cog. So the a cog is when you get this gun, you have to afford the stock. Without the stock, you have to try it out. And I believe there's a site for the a cog, which it's known as something with the a cog. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Let's see here, um, they called it a scope, like an ACOG scope, so it's like very huge. It's the, I think it's the C one. Which one is this one? This one's kind of flat. That, that's, I don't know if that's actually the ACOG site. They, they said that ACOG sites are like huge, like someone said that. Like the site's actually really big for the ACOG. I'm trying to move up here, sorry about that, but like, it's like, this is like either one, each of the two of these like look the same and everyone's don't look the same. It's kind of weird. But like, here, like, you, you do actually get like, I guess this would be considered an ACOG site. As you would look here, it's actually pretty, no, actually, that's not the biggest one there, that's not actually the big one. Or is it? Is it? I would have to consider that this is actually pretty big because this does look like an ACOG site. It doesn't say it is though. I, wonder, I wish you can like hit the buttons though for this. Like, I'm like spamming my buttons right now. Like as you can tell, it's just like an ACOG site. Like that actually does look like an ACOG site, but this is an ACOG. It looks like an ACOG is just a turret machine gun. But it feels so weird to, to use a lot of these weapons here, guys. This feels so weird. But, uh, here. Let's also look for, um, the other sites, like, pistols here. Like, they got, like, this pistol, which I once said this to my friend. That, like, there's nothing you can add on to this gun. Like, there's no way you can add sights and crap to this gun. No lasers, no grips. Only a silencer. Only, only the silencers are only allowed. That is so weird. Like that that seems kind of creepy in my opinion because like for a gun like this you're supposed to be able to see far away with sights but i guess that's because of this system watch, watch. like you're supposed to you're supposed to pull back like this but also it's supposed to like i guess like hang on a minute it's like the hammer like you would like here look in the light, I'll give you guys better perspective in the light. So, like, look when I pull it back. There you go. Now, watch it, like, release. The, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it here. Wait, watch. Oh, it jumps up. Like, it jumps up every time. Like, this little release system will draw back up. Oh, shoot. I also know that this is either, I don't know if this is, no, this one's not called the broom handle, because it's got a different grip on it, but here, oh. Trash pistol. 
But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up for this episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll see you guys in our video.